Hi there, this is Fionn, the creator of Tryway Digital. I create and sell digital planners, printables, and digital stickers. If you like digital products, feel free to check out my store link at the description below. Now, today I'm going to show you how to download my digital planners and digital stickers from Google Drive into iPad. Now, one thing to note is that you don't need a Google Drive account to download the files. Just open up the link in this customer PDF and you can download the file straight away. Right now, I'm using my iPad to show you a simple demonstration of the three ways you can download the files. It can be done using the Google Drive app, which you may have already installed in your iPad. And this is by far the most straightforward and easiest way to do so. The second simpler way will be using the Safari browser. And thirdly, we'll be using the Chrome browser. The reason why I'm showing you these two browsers is because they do download to two different areas. Now, only when you have trouble using Safari or the Google Drive app should you try using Chrome because I think Chrome seems to be quite glitchy when it comes to downloading digital files into iPad. So I would recommend using Google Drive app or Safari to download the digital files. If you already have a Google Drive app in your iPad, all you have to do is to simply tap on the icon, click here to download planners to start downloading the digital files. So let's say if I were to click here and you ask me if I want to go to the external link, just tap on yes. All right, so it will immediately bring you to the Google Drive app. So choose the file that you want to download so let's say if I want to download the Boho Wichi Planner, which is in the 2022, all I have to do is to tap on the three dots underneath the file and choose Open In. And the Google Drive app will start to export the file. So all you have to do is to wait for a while and then you can choose whichever writing app that you want to open. So in this case, I want to open in Good Notes. I just have to tap on that. And I can choose to either import to this current document that I'm using right now or import it as a new document. And there you go. So the second method is using the internet browser, which is Safari. So as you can see over here, I'm not using any Google account to sign in and I can still access these digital files. Now, depending the number and layout of the digital files in the shared folder, you can either choose to download all the files by tapping onto this download all button right at the top or you may choose to download each individual file. So in this case, I want to download all the files. So I just tap on this download all and you will see that it will start to zip all the files and it may take a while to do that. Okay, so over here, it will prompt you to download the file. So click on download. Once the files have been downloaded, you will see that there is an icon here that has a circle with an arrow pointing down. Tap on the files and it will bring you to the downloads folder. So tap on that again. And once you see all the files are ready, just tap on the file that you want to be imported into GoodNotes. So for example, if I want to download the 2022 Boho Witch Planner, I just have to tap on the icon that is on the top right hand corner with a square and an arrow pointing up, just tap on that. So for example, if I want to open in GoodNotes, I can tap on that. And if you have any other writing app that you prefer, you can choose to open through that app. So the third method is using the Google Chrome browser. So let's just tap on the Google Chrome browser app. So over here, uh, you will see that my Google Chrome may be slightly different from yours because I'm using the mobile site, which I believe is more suitable for iPad. So let's say yours looks like this. Okay, so for example, if yours looks like this, like what you would normally see on your desktop, I would suggest going to the three dots on top and then request on mobile site. And this is because I've tried downloading the files using the desktop site in my iPad, but somehow I have some trouble locating my files and I have so much trouble downloading it. Uh, so I would suggest using the mobile site for your iPad. 
And over here at the mobile side, I can't seem to find the download all button either. So I have to download the file one by one. So for example, if I want to download the instructions PDF, I just have to tap on that. And the next few steps are quite simple. Just tap on the arrow pointing down icon here. And it will start to download straight away. And at the bottom, you will find that there is a pop-up. And just tap on the download button. And you can choose to open in your preferred writing app. So in this case, I want to open in GoodNotes. Just like what you've seen earlier, I can choose to import to current document or import as a new document. And this is the part where some of you may have some difficulty in locating your planner or find that your planner is not imported into your GoodNotes. So in that case, go back to Chrome again. And instead of opening up this planner or this PDF using um, your writing app, you can choose to save to files and choose the location where you want your PDF to be and then tap on save. Next, go to files and you'll see that the PDF that I've just downloaded will go to my iPad. The difference between using the Safari browser and the Google Chrome browser is that all the files that are being downloaded through Google Chrome will be in this on my iPad section, whereas for Safari, the files will landed up will be landed up in downloads section. All right, so that's the difference between using the Safari and the Google Chrome. Okay, so in this case, uh, I've just downloaded the instructions PDF. I just tap on the file, and to get this file to be imported into GoodNotes. All I have to do is to tap on this icon on the top right hand corner with a square and an arrow pointing up. I just tap on that. And this time round, I should be able to open in Good Notes. And there you go. I have shown you three methods to download the digital files from Google Drive into your iPad using the Google Drive app. Safari, and lastly, the Chrome browser. I hope you find them useful and feel free to ask me any question if you have any trouble downloading my digital files. And if you like this planner, do give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe. I'll see you again. Bye!